Hi, Stephen. How you doing? All right. It's just reading through your writing. Everything's making sense here. I mean, it sounds like you're, you're, um, you sound like a designer, exactly like a designer, like, okay, I'm throwing stuff against the ball to see what sticks. And, and I'm not sure about this and I'm think it's coming together, but it, that's how this, that sounds like every <laughs> designer I know. So I guess that's pointing in the right direction, right? Um, it's all part of the process, Stephen. That's all it is. It's all part of the process. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the work. I got the work up right here. I love it. I think it's a great start. I really do. Um, there's a couple of areas I think that are somewhat an, an anomaly in that right here. This this red background here is just really it's it's like sucking the eyes right in because it is an anomaly. It's a little bit different. Um, so watch that extensive use of red um, as far as the background goes. Um, you might even introduce a, 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 a if you've got red that looks great with the blue the light blue everything looks fantastic. I'm wondering if you might introduce another color here somewhere along the way. Um, Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So let's zoom in. And okay, so American Welfare System. So I want to see something here. Poverty Welfare in Mississippi. Okay. All right. So in the, the banner area, first thing I, I would recommend. So you, I would bleed this, this blue background because right now it's it's uneven right there plus you've got this kind of unusual little hiccup right there. and that's i'm sure you, you you know this and you're planning on adjusting it but i would uh, these guys need faces this guy's got a glass glasses but i don't know do these guys need faces i don't know maybe maybe not i don't know do you see what you think i guess the more i look at it the more i'm thinking they're 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 okay but the anomaly of course is this guy has sunglasses on so he looks almost like a men in black um so I'm not sure. Just I, I guess either remove his glasses or give these guys glasses or or um, give them all faces. Just some way to just make them um, a little bit more uh, uh, closely related. Um, I mean, we can definitely see that they're politicians. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so Mississippi. So right now we're, we're talking about the American welfare system, why it's important to your state. We're not talking about Mississippi. I think if the person, the viewer comes in and they see Mississippi, well, um, if, if you don't have any interest in Mississippi, then it, why would you continue along with this? All right. So my recommendation is to really craft a, a very, very interesting and unique headline. Um, but Mississippi isn't it. The American welfare system, why it's important to your state, that might be more like it. OK, and then Mississippi would be a sub there because that's not the, 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 the posters about the American welfare system and its relevance to, to, to the individual state. And this, of course, could be part of a series. Right. But uh, right now, this is just the headline is Mississippi. So I think we could we we're, we we're, we have the possibility of losing some audience there. Um, those who might not be interested in Mississippi. This seems like it wants to be centered, but it's not. This, this margin right here is much bigger than this margin here. So watch that. Um, this is, a, I'm gonna zoom in here again, because we're gonna go through each individual infographic. Uh, this is, I love, this is fantastic. Give me a you wanna cut out, eliminate. Entitlements known as the various programs. So what are these entitlements? Well, what are these entitlements? Excellent, you got two stars over here, no stars over here. So again, that's a little bit weird. That's not centered either. So you wanna center that. Uh, I wouldn't include the stars either. Uh, you, you use the stars up here, you don't wanna overdo it. Um, the, the umbrella, the, this is great. This is great. Not sure about the white background, a little stark there. I would not use a white background. Try a different color, not blue either. Try something else. Um, what do we spend on welfare? This is fantastic. A little small though. Text is a little bit small. I would increase the size of that because otherwise you just, you just really got to get in there really super close to see it. So I would definitely adjust that to get, to get, uh, a little bit, a little bit more, well, little, little watch your scale there. It's just 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 really small. Same thing here, um, and then also typographically, we got some dis. Uh, this is dissimilar. This type here is dissimilar to this type. The the uh, letting here is really wide, where it's not. It's I'm sorry. Uh, the spacing between lines letting is 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 pretty wide, much more so than than this. Um, so I would get in your your subtype should all be very very consistent. Um, again, over here, really, really tiny, tiny, minuscule type. Can't see it. Yeah, That's not going to work. Got to get this visible. Um, and then this is a, this is, I think this is a good graphic too. Now down at this point right here, I think we're starting to use the umbrella a little too much. 
So let's let's think about something we can do here. Uh, but this is nice, nice type of graphic composition here. Poverty and, and welfare in Mississippi. 19% what? Percentage of populace. Looks like you need a space there. Living under poverty. Yeah, let's get that condense the heck out of that so we it can Mississippi poverty away itself. So you really want to increase the size there. 50th, first. Oh, that's good. Good facts. Really good facts. Um Okay, Mississippi provide government assistance. Okay, this is good, good, good. Vote to protect federal aid for families in need. Okay, so yeah, I guess you've taken a little bit of a, you've, you've, you've switched gears a little bit in your initial um, uh, concept, which is, that's, that's fine, it's expected, right? Um, and I'm perfectly fine with that. So I think you're off to a great start. Um, really, really fantastic start. I think, the, yeah, I'm a little, just a little concerned about color. I want you to experiment with color. See what you can do with color. I think, uh, yeah, this is definitely a problem right here. I would get a space between these two as well. You've got all these, you know, seems like you have everything's evenly spaced, but this graphic is right on top of that graphic here. So we're a little cluttered there. It almost seems like uh, that these two are related. They're so closely on top of each other. But I, I, I got to tell you, man, I'm, I'm thinking... Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. Watch your white backgrounds. They're really stark. Anything that's an anomaly, anything that you, you you find yourself, squint your eyes when you look at this. Squint your eyes. And anything that pops out, you should really reconsider. When you squint your eyes and look at a composition, it points to things that aren't in harmony. Um, because when you squint your eyes, if I take my eyes and I squint and I look at this and I see, okay, what do I see? I see this area standing out, this area standing out, this area standing out. Why? White background white background and the fact that these are right on top of each other. So there's a little visual clutter here. So try it. It's such a primitive little test, but it works beautifully. Squint your eyes when you look at your composition, you'll you'll start to see things that are are kind of sticking out. And it looks like you're you're not done your your uh footer area is incomplete there. So as you said, you're it's a work in progress, right? So all right, fantastic. Really, really coming along absolutely beautifully. So I'll tell you what, at this point, if you have any questions at all, you know the drill, right? Just please let me know if I make any necessary clarifications. All right, fantastic. Thank you very much, Stephen.